So it's after work and I've got a lot of bananas to peel really quick. <laughs> oh, let me go get a bin. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got bins to put the peels in because then we'll just throw these in the compost. Well, not like the peels. You get what I'm saying. Okay. And then I got these stasher bags. These are reusable freezer bags or refrigerator bags or whatever. They're made from silicone. This is what we've been using to freeze food in because, you know, waste less. Want, want not, waste not, want not. You know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the bananas and figure out who's all the way ripe. Like this one's super, like I can tell. It's about to be mushed out. Let's see, look. You want to see? Right there, see, it's already gotten mushy. And you wouldn't think, right? Because it's still kind of greenish. I know people say there's some process they do to store-bought bananas that makes them yellower. But yeah, mine never turn yellow, yellow, but they get all the way to being a nice banana. And you'll get stuff like this where there was some damage you can either like peel that off or if you use it in smoothies, like it's not, nothing's wrong with it. It's just like a scarred over area. And you can see how much difference in size of bananas I get. And that's the thing like with store-bought bananas, they actually will throw away bananas that aren't the right size. Like Diane, like how wide they are, how long they are. So it's one of the benefits of growing stuff at home is you're not creating a whole bunch of food waste you know, you're using, like, you don't care if this one banana is this big and the other banana is like half the size because they're all your bananas and they were so nice to grow and you did such a good job and you're helping the environment because they didn't have to travel like literally a thousand miles to get to your house. They traveled 20 feet. Boop, boop. Do you see how green these are? Like. Totally ripe. These were in a store. People would pass them up. Honestly, I would eat one on camera, but I'm about to have dinner, so I don't want to like eat a banana. Okay, I can eat a little banana. We'll eat a little banana on camera because then you can hear me say like, "Oh, the flavor! It's so much better than store bought." about the same I feel like that's always a thing on gardening channels we're always like biting stuff and being like oh my gosh it's just like so good so good you can never I actually asked my husband once I'm like do you feel like the things we grow in our garden like legitimately taste better than what you can buy in the grocery store and he said yeah it's about the same and I was like yeah and this is for things that there's the exact same item at the grocery store. Obviously, like if you get a different type of banana, like it will taste different. And if you like that taste, then yes, that would taste better. And same with tomatoes. Um, but there's a lot of things that I would say like, eh, maybe it's about the same. These bananas, and we did this very purposely. We got bananas that were a type that's just like what you would get in the store. So the type you get in the store is called a Cavendish. And these are Grand Nains, but they taste a lot like um, a Cavendish. We have dwarf Cavendish bananas. Those are the smaller plants you see um, around my garden. And they do taste, they're just small. I don't really know, you know, they're nice because they're more compact, but honestly, I might get rid of most of those in the long run because I don't really need lots of little bananas. Cause we use these all in the smoothies. Okay. So this one, somebody got inside of it. So we'll just, all the compost. Ah, see this one needs to ripen up just a little bit more. It's still hard, hard. I'm trying to get all the ones that are mushy. <laughs> are gonna become mush soon.
Oh man. So my husband and I were in like a bet or a debate about whether he should need to buy bananas this weekend at the grocery store because we ran out of our harvested bananas. Um, I think spring, summer, spring or summer, sometime like that. And I was like, no, Ben, these are for sure going to be ready in time. I'm like, you will have enough for this week's smoothies. And he's like, I don't know. They're pretty green still. I was like, just you wait. And it was cute because I walked in today from work and he was like, you were right. Bananas are ready. I was like, I know, but I appreciate it. <laughs> and you know, with having us growing bananas, I think some of you know this, maybe not everybody on the channel who watches knows this, but uh, my son, my older son, who has for years gone to eating therapy, um, he started eating bananas and he has like half a banana almost every day now. So that's super exciting. I feel like that's like a really big win for a kid who had like a massively limited diet. Um, Cause bananas, like I remember the eating therapist when we talked about eating bananas years ago, she's like, that's a challenging food, you know, for texture and lots of other things. So I feel like that was like a big win. And now he gets to eat homemade bananas. Homemade, homegrown, 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 homemade bananas. So right now I'm just going through and any of the bananas that are still not quite right, I'm just setting aside and we'll probably harvest those in another day or two. And again, all by feel, not by look. Cause you can see like this one's more yellowish and there's some that I've been pulling that like this one right here, same color basically. This one's ready, this one's not and all by feel. So I'm just going through and pushing on them and they feel soft like you would get, like if you had a yellow banana from the grocery store and I'm going, oh, okay, that's ready. And I might just bring a bunch inside for <laughs> the smoothies that I told Ben they would be ready in time for. Cause I think there's like a nice set right here. I could probably just bring them inside. Oh, and thing that you should know. Um, once you freeze bananas, don't defrost them like in your fridge, they become disgusting like they become a blobish brownish gooey not good so we just take them out frozen and dump them into a smoothie that was a hard lesson learned I think we lost a whole bag I think we still used it but it was very strange tasting that's all I'll say and I lost a couple to splits but honestly it's not that many oh <laughs> I think I found an actual yellow one Oh, but it's got a hole in it. 50 pounds of bananas. I'm sorry, 49 pounds and 11 ounces. <laughs> okay, so I sorted through what will definitely be ripe in the next 24 hours. And then I've grabbed a few for inside the house. But we've already got what four bags and then i grabbed the what's left of the ones that like for sure need to be peeled today because otherwise they're gonna go bad soon because of bananas right once they go once they're good they go bad pretty fast so how much probably half i probably done half of it 20 25 pounds today okay we're gonna leave it there for today <laughs> 